Hi, what's up, y'all? It's Papa. It's Craig and it's Dean. Bought to react to this video by the WRI channel. It's titled, Kendrick Lamar stuns the industry. Life after watch the party die. Okay. I'm very curious what, you know, people in hip-hop media think of this song. I'm sure they like it. You know, they, they appreciate the deep lyrical, you know, messages and whatnot. Uh, except act. <laughs> but, I mean, that's no shame because I, I listen to surface level rap a lot as well. Um... So there's that. But yeah, we're going to hear what they got to say. I did see some people saying that Kendrick confirmed that his album is coming out as well. So I don't know if that was on the song or what, because I didn't listen to the whole song. Um, but yeah, let, let's hear what their takes are. Let's watch. Bro, you don't get it. Kendrick was given a State of the Union address. He's so smart. He's hip hop Jesus. So Kendrick, <laughs> you dropped the song <laughs> yesterday. A new song has been dropped on 9-11. By Kendrick friggin' Lamar. Kendrick Lamar is back Frickin again Lamar. with a new song that he has just released via Instagram. I looked on the gram and Kendrick had dropped Watch the Party Die. If they've called the game, they've called the match. You yourself okay. seemingly has said the white flag was thrown. You yourself said there's no round twos. Why would you ever engage again? I see some of the Thirsty Drake fans out. Oop, he about to go in. Um, I mean, based on the summary video that I watched, if that was correct, it don't sound like that was him engaging and reigniting the beef at all. They're trying to make it sound like it's some huge dough. Oh, he's not around two. It's not around two. It's not around two. You totally missed the point. Go grab a book. Or no. I see a lot of people saying that this isn't a diss track at all, and he's not coming for Drake whatsoever. I disagree. Of course. I didn't take any of these uh, bars as a direct uh, shot to Drake. I don't believe the record is just about Drake. I think he's talking about just the culture, you know, mm -hmm. people in the world, society, the media, industry, TV. media. Just walk that man down. That'll do everyone a solid. I mean, again, who else is he talking about? The first place to start is this song is not called Watch the Party Die. This song is untitled. Get him gone. We gonna watch the party die. Send him home. We gonna watch the party die. When I first heard that, by the way... I was wondering, like, is he talking about party next door? Alright. <laughs> that is a I what crazy reason. I understand what the song was meant to do, but this is not something that I would ever go back to listen to again. I said that I can already <laughs> assess a song within the first minute and, and tell if I'm going to continue to listen to it or not. And that is what I did with this song. So I feel the exact same way. And there's nothing wrong with that. People are so fucking corny, you know, trying to shame others for their music taste. You're fucking corny. You're a clown. <laughs> who do, Like, who cares? If you know, my music taste is so superior and I listen to the best of the best hip hop. Nobody gives a fuck, you nerd. <laughs> Nobody cares. You don't get an award for being a hip hop nerd. Nope. Nobody cares what you listen to. Congratulations. Like, okay. <laughs> I, I see that all the all the time like i've always seen that online just in general whenever someone doesn't like a deep song it's the the hip-hop nerds come out the shadows and think that that makes them superior in some type of way or that makes them more connected to the to the culture or makes them cool because oh well i appreciate the the deepest of the rap and i listen to Nas every day before i brush my teeth like congrats congrats what, what would you like for that where do we go from here who cares nobody cares Oh God, you're a dick sucker. This shit, I mean, this shit trash as fuck, bro. Thank God for Kendrick. Wait. Go back to listen to it again. Y'all think this shit's fire? You're a dick sucker. Oh God, you're a dick sucker. This shit, I mean, this shit trash as fuck, bro. Thank God. For I also think that perspective is stupid <laughs> as well. I think that's really ignorant. Um, just because something doesn't have an appealing beat to you, just because it's not the most sonically appealing to you. To automatically call it trash when you're not even considering the lyrics, I feel like that is incredibly idiotic. So, I don't like that angle either. I feel like both angles are corny and stupid. Kendrick, yeah, this was terrible. And what I mean by terrible, the actual song is not terrible. But the move of dropping this song at this moment is fucking terrible. I like the record. Um, I just think the timing is wrong for me. I think it's the wrong time. I think especially after everything that's going on with the whole Super Bowl thing, I just think to put a song out like that. This whole song is a flip great time, man, of Untitled One from Untitled Unmastered. I like what he was talking about. I understand everything he was saying. Um, sonically, it was a... Kendrick here yeah, saying it's time good. to watch the party die. 
This is what he's talking about. He's talking about the direction in which the industry has gone. He's talking about being disappointed in the media. He talked about the walk-up down line, which I think was a shot at Drake, basically saying, like, I've already quieted him. That was good for all the people. We don't want to hear you talk about the fake industry dudes, the media niggas. Talk about why you have changed your stance, seemingly, and you're now the same person that's pushing the line for the same people you said Oppress your brother. What? What are we talking what about? What are you talking about, man? <laughs> Academic said Kendrick dish Drake again. <laughs> he like round two is on the way. Nah, man. Many have been kind of talking about this track as if it's like an additional diss toward Drake or uh, like, a victory lap this. for him. People are mad about the Super Bowl and then you drop this record. It's like kicking the door while it's down. That's how I take it. Overall, the message in the song, I thought it was cool. This is not a Drake diss track, although there are things that are still aimed at Drake here. I understand what he's, the message he's saying. Like, mm -hmm. you know, we need to get, start talking about addressing more serious things. Well, you know, the person said if I catch flight, it's, it's gonna be direct. And I'm not sneak dissing, I'm not subbing. So for you, if this were a Drake diss and you come out subbing like this, it's very hypocritical of everything you just said. I would love to hear Kendrick Lamar's thoughts on why the hell he's now in bed with the NFL when a couple years ago, he was squarely on the side of Colin Kaepernick. Come on, use your head, you're just making it worse. This fool just dropped a fucking basically diss song at Drake in motherfucking September. I don't agree with some of the framing that this track is like, oh, Kendrick's starting it up again, this is round two, when no, this is in fact not round two. If you've won and you've been seen as one so, gr so gracefully and so strategically as people claimed you won, why would you ever want to run that back again? I believe corporations, companies, higher ups are, have, are at war with Drake. This move told me that Kendrick don't got nothing going on if it ain't got nothing to do with Drake. Who's the radio personality? Who is it? It's Charlamagne. He's talking about radio personalities. Yeah, that is, <laughs> that is true. And you talking about, you know, the propaganda that is pushed on radio. Like, you know, radio does push a lot of the, yeah, the, the, the music that probably is influencing people wrong. Why reason with these guys if they can't see the future first? He's putting himself in the position of being prophetic, but it's also a double because of Like That, seeing the future first. Like That was a song of future that first started this beef. I feel like this track illustrates the fact that uh, Kendrick's beef with Drake was so much bigger than Drake to begin with. You can't say there isn't no game two, then immediately drop a track seemingly Baited game two. The whole back and forth wasn't really about uh, fighting with a single man. It was more about fighting with what he sees this man as a symptom of. This does feel like an epilogue for Kendrick where he's overviewing the battle and the aftermath of it, but even though it doesn't seem like he wants to re-engage in that battle, he is instigating Drake's ass. This is supposed to be the nigga who can't get over this, right? Like, Drake is the obsessed thing. He's supposed to be obsessed. Why? 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 What I feel like he's mostly upset about through his lyrics is just uh, this lack of music that gives listeners and gives people hope. Feels like Kendrick is trying to cleanse and purify hip hop culture and push artists to make music with a real message and that has a lot of substance to it. I think these songs are trying to figure uh, are a real and purify hip hop culture. Listeners and gives people hope. Feels like Kendrick is trying to cleanse and purify hip hop culture and push artists to make music with a real message and that has a lot of substance to it. I think these songs are trying to think that are. Kendrick. I hope that's not the case. See, I need to finish this song. I need to finish listening to this song because my... Uh, I only watched the video that basically gave a summary of, of what the song was about and that's just their perception. So I need to gather my own opinion um, and really listen to it a couple times just to hear what message he's trying to convey but i hope that's not what he's trying to say that he wants to purify hip-hop and you know have these rappers uh convey deep meaning in in all of their songs because i feel like that would make rap very boring i feel like based on the video that i watched it sounds like he is just saying that there's a lot of toxicity out there because you can still create surface level basic um rap music without it being so 
toxic. So I don't think that type of music needs to be purified. But again, I haven't listened to the whole thing, so. I'm trying to figure out the direction. I don't have much of an opinion. I think he's trying to see if people want that versus do they just want catchy songs. Influencers talk down because I'm not with the basic stuff. This is just a criticism of the culture and Drake fans, basically. He's talking about, I think he's making uh, broad generalizations because there's another part where he says, the influencer. I think he's just talking about the culture of influencers. People just want catchy songs, my nigga. Like, they don't want you talk talking to hieroglyphics. Did this flip <laughs> <would> sometimes <laughs> I wonder what Lecrae would do. I it's disagree with that, though. I feel like, you know, there are definitely people who, you know, they, they like deep, meaningful rap. But I also don't feel like that's necessary in, in rap music. Sometimes you want to just bop. You know, you want to just listen to some good music to get you through your workout. Not everything needs to be so deep. But I, I feel like Kendrick is probably addressing this because... It, it seems like there is way more toxic surface level music than there is lyrical deep rap, you know? So that's that's the problem, I'm sure. Or how he views it. On Drake, because Drake has a song called What Would Pluto Do? Then wonder why I'm not enthused to drop. The more visible mm. you get, the more your spiritualist tribe. I'm gonna be honest with you. That's a weak excuse, man. Kendrick, mm -hmm. you don't wanna drop because you don't wanna drop, my nigga. You don't gotta bet. You don't, you don't gotta like blame it on your spiritual. Are you dumb? Did I'm dumb? Dumb? Did I'm dumb? Dumb? If you're Drake right now, it, it would be very fucking tempting to respond to this in, in some way. You... Either a song that was in his war chest for the battle, or a song directly or clearly aimed at Drake. Either <laughs> or, I just think it's a bad move. Kendrick, for somebody who doesn't drop, and this is what I'm saying, he's having the best year with. Quality over quantity. The thing I agree with and resonate with the most that Kendrick is saying is just the it. integrity part. Like people not having no integrity and people That's just been a long time, doing man. anything for a check. The message is is what I was you know <clears throat> I was happy to hear. Like okay, like you know I'm not mad at him putting that in the ecosystem right now, especially okay. coming off of the whole beef thing. What this tells me is a few things. Either he's misreading the room, misread this whole game two thing. I'm gonna tell you something, kid. If you gonna drive yourself crazy. Okay, the only thing you can do is continue to be the change you want to see in the world. That part, that part. Because this ain't stopping no time soon. We got other real shit going on that we need to address in our communities. But there's also nothing wrong with addressing it and, you know, speaking on it. So, um, so yeah, for, for that, I, you know, I, I listened to it and I was like, okay. Let's... Let me tell you something. Yeah. If you think that the NFL and Rock Nation and a bunch of other people didn't get a whole bunch of legal letters yesterday from uh, people with old, uh, with owls as they had, their, their stamp on you, you're not going to call me a pedophile. You're not no. calling me a pedophile mm -hmm. in the Super Bowl. All right. <laughs> what the deal, everybody? Mm -hmm. I'm named Kendrick Lamar, and I'll be performing at Super Bowl 59. Will you be pulling up? I hope so. interesting hearing their takes but yeah like i said i don't have much of an opinion because i didn't properly assess the song at all um but you know i don't think there's anything wrong with him putting you know the message out there and you know giving his his standpoint on the state of rap right now but i mean i do agree with charlamagne like people are gonna make the type of music they want to make and you know some people are going to be really toxic with it um and they are kind of you know, tainting the genre a bit, but I feel like that goes with all genres. There are always people who are doing it wrong, so to speak, in the eyes of some. Um, but yeah, I mean, some people just want to have a good time and they want to be entertained by their rap and there's nothing wrong with that because you can be educated about the state of society through other avenues. Like, I don't know why people act like, oh, you have to receive certain messages through rap alone. That's really weird. Like, there are books. <laughs> there are uh, other ways to be to be educated by, you know, what, what's going on in the world, the state of the world, and how you can be a better person and level up. So that doesn't need to be conveyed through rap. So some people don't want to really hear that message through rap. They, they want to listen to music when they want to have a good time. And they want to educate themselves through other means <laughs> and there, there's nothing wrong with that at all so there's that because i read all right anyway y'all let me know what y'all think about all this let me know what the videos you're gonna watch and i'll see you on the next one bye